Well, after being an avid sim fanatic for years and years and years, I guess it's time for the uh, obligatory rig tour video. So what you are looking at here is a full motion flying slash car racing virtual reality simulator. So let's have a, have a look at what we've got and I'll kind of explain everything that you're looking at. First off, you'll see here we've got four actuators. This is part of the SFX 100 motion kit, which is significantly less expensive than a D-Box. And down there in that server cabinet are all the motion controllers. That's the power supply needed to provide the full motion. If you've never driven a sim or flown a sim in full motion, six degrees, you're absolutely missing out, especially when you combine it, combine it rather with VR. And so I've got an H for HP Reverb 2. And then I've got a, I think it's a 12,000 or 11.9 CPU with the 3080 Ti, soon to upgrade both of those to a 13.9K CPU and a 4090. You can see for the steering system, I've got the VRS direct drive right there with converted Fanatic rims. I've got just two, I'm not a rimaholic, one for Roundy round or one, one that's rounded, one that's for formula cars and what have you. And then you can see down here, I've got my uh, yoke and I've got my throttle. Now this is actually just, just sitting here for now because what I do when I'm switching them, well, this is to switch is actually really easy. All I do is there's four Allen screws and this is T-slot aluminum. The whole rig is T-slot aluminum. I designed it myself. And I literally just slide that off and then I slide on the yoke and I slide on the throttle quadrant and voila, I am converted from racing simulator to flying simulator. Now you'll notice I also have a HOTAS with a stick and I have a stick extender, which is absolutely awesome. And that can actually be used with the steering wheel in place. So just before this video, I was doing some bush flying, so I didn't need to remove the steering wheel. So if you wanna play DCS, which I like to do, I don't have to make any changes whatsoever. Now, down below here is the coolest thing of all. So my lovely wife just got me the Velocity One rudder pedals. And as you can see, they are mounted down below my Husinkveld ultimates. And the beauty of this setup is that I don't have to change anything or adjust anything or do anything to convert from flying to driving. So there's, there's plenty of room for them to actuate. This is this setup. I love this setup with my heels resting here. So much more control. My other rudder pedals that I took, just took out, which were absolute garbage in comparison, were these ones here by Thrustmaster, but hey, they're only 60 bucks or something like that, so what do you expect? The ability to fly tail draggers, land tail draggers, and compensate for the torque and so forth with those rudders, rudder pedals is absolutely awesome. Obviously, having the toe brakes, super cool as well. And all I do is the seat is on like a car seat adjuster, so I'll just move the seat back about three inches when I'm flying, and that way I have legs that are nearly extended when I'm reaching for the rudder pedals. And then when I'm driving, I slide it up. And this here is actually gonna be right up about there. So it further pushes the stick out of the way of the wheel. And then it gets me close enough so that you can see, I can rest my heels up on the heel plate and easily use the pedals. So a couple of other cool things there's nothing really cool about the monitor stand. It is not mounted to the full motion rig. It's really only there for admin. Um, when I'm gaming, obviously I'm in the VR goggles all the time. But the other really cool thing is you'll notice I have belts. So why do I have seat belts? I used to think seat belts, that's stupid. Why would you ever do that? What I wanted to achieve was belt tightening under braking um, when I'm racing. So I've got a five point system, I've got submarine belt there to keep this from riding up. So if you don't have a submarine belt and you go to tighten your shoulder straps, really all you're gonna do is just pull that up your, up your navel and off your hips and that's no good. 
But the way that this works, you can see I've made this contraption back here. So this seat belt bar, whatever you want to call it, is mounted. Now I got the whole rig mounted on really, really heavy hardwood. So one, I'm not wearing holes in my floor. Um, and then I've got PT actuator cups. And then my buddy 3D printed these for me. So the rig doesn't walk around. But you'll notice obviously the rig can move, but this stays still. So the net effect of that is under braking, the seat is going to move forward, which then causes, because this is stationary and the belts are mounted to a stationary point, increases the tension that's on my shoulders. And so I've been able to achieve that really cool sensation, which I've now become super dependent upon to help me with braking without having to buy that super expensive brake rolly seatbelt thingamajiggy. So this is like the poor man's version. That's probably, I don't know, 70 or 80 bucks worth of T-slot aluminum and just some ingenuity to make it work. And it works absolutely beautifully. I've become so accustomed to driving now with belts on and the extra feel from the belts that it feels really naked and weird when I don't have them on. I could put them on for flying, um, but I'm not really, I don't bother to do that simply because there's no, I guess, practical reason. I'm not trying to simulate tension on my belts as I crash into a tree and kill myself or something like that. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions about any of the components uh, or it was how it was built or any links or anything like that, go ahead and leave a comment down below. By the way, that over there has nothing to do with, that's just for my home stereo. Um, but it's been just an absolute joy putting this thing together over the years. And I finally got it to a point now where um, it's just awesome. People come over and they're like, dude, what the heck is that thing? So um, anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'm rambling on now, so I'm going to wrap it up. And if you, like I say, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down in the comments below. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.